Hello, gift gold holders. We're on to gift number three, and I'm very excited to discuss, explore, and introduce you to the next NFT artist that we have. If you've been involved with NFTs, it'd be hard not to notice that this artist has inspired, uplifted, and even made history with his art and story. The artist's name is Isaac Wright, aka Drifter Shoots, aka Drift out of Cincinnati, Ohio. He's an Army Special Operations vet who served and honorably retired after six years. But during that time, he struggled with depression, PTSD, and other challenges that he realized that he would have to explore. But at the time, he couldn't because he wasn't the person that he wanted to be. One night while stationed in Louisiana, he made the snap decision to drive to Houston for his first climb after watching Urban Exploring on Instagram. And Urban Exploring is the exploration of man-made structures. As he made his way to the Houston construction site and climbed up 50 floors and overlooked the view, his stresses went away and he realized that he gathered some perspective that he needed at that point. But it wasn't until months later in NYC, while he was standing on a multi-million dollar unfinished patio at dawn overlooking the greatest city in the world, capturing it through his lens that he realized that this is what he wanted to do for the rest of his life. And as his passion for climbing and art grew, something internally also started to help him deal and confront with a lot of the mental issues that he was struggling with. As he would climb to these incredibly high heights, instead of feeling scared or nervous like some of us would, he felt calm. It also helped him view the world as being this huge place with him just being a tiny speck in it. And that helped. But one of the risks while doing this type of photography when climbing these structures to the highest heights is not just the physical risk, but also the legal risk. A lot of times when entering these bridges, buildings, and cranes, it's considered trespassing. And the vast majority of the time, urban explorers will be given a misdemeanor, a slap on the wrist, or nothing at all. But on a highway in Arizona, Isaac would find out that's not what happened to him. The car he and a friend were traveling in would be surrounded by police officers with assault rifles. He'd be arrested and held without bail. He was seen as too dangerous for release because of his special trainings in the army. His proud accomplishments have now been used against him, despite him having no criminal record. The list of felonies, if convicted, could land him in prison for up to 25 years. As being one of the very few black urban explorers, the severity of charges and the potential consequences could not be overlooked and garnered the national attention of news media and even the New York Times. After being locked up for months, this new visibility was able to help him eventually get released out on bail where he could start working to resolve his legal responsibilities. But once home and released, his legal fees started to mount. Eventually, a friend of his introduced him to the world of NFTs. Isaac then began to release his photos as NFTs. And once people got a hold of his story, his personality, and the art, it just really couldn't be denied. His collection, Where My Vans Go, which is a reference to the sneakers that he wears on every single climb, just exploded and now currently has a floor of 55 ETH. He has released on every single major NFT platform and recently made history by becoming the youngest African-American photographer to show at Sotheby's. As for the demand for Isaac's work, it's as blue chip as they come. The floor for his 101s on Super Rare is 44 ETH. And like I said before, Where My Vans Goes floor is 55 ETH. He's done a couple of editions before. Once on Nifty Gateway, The World to Myself has 30 editions and the floor on that is 14 and a half thousand. And then he has another edition called Come Alive and that's an edition of 200 and the floor on that is 2.7 ETH. It's really quite amazing, and his career is just getting started. Now let's talk about the collaboration NFT. The name is Where My Goats Go, and you know that it's 555 tokens. But we have 37 editions with 15 NFTs in each one of those editions. Each edition is comprised of a photograph captured by Drift in his signature style. He's joined by Gary, and they're both wearing custom vans while hovering over New York City in a helicopter. As always... It's a pleasure. We're very excited about this collaboration, and we'll see you soon.